Hi everybody. Hi, everybody. I'm Maggie. I'm Drew. And that's Guinness. That's Guinness. Uh, this is her, her showcase. showcase. I can't move. D23, D23. Reaction Edition. <laughs> There was a lot. There was actually there a was lot. There was quite a bit. So there was a lot. For the purposes of this, I'm going to spend most of my time on the East Coast in the Disney World announcements. It's mm -hmm. where we spend most of our vacations. It's also where I have the most knowledge. Um, West Coast, you got some really cool stuff. You Avengers did. Campus is getting more stuff. Um, two new rides. Pandora's coming. Coco's coming. The Walt Disney Audio Animatronic show is coming for the 70th. That looks really, really cool, and I'm super, super jealous that that's coming to the yes. West Coast. Very angry about Coco going um, to Disneyland and not Epcot. Also, before we continue, one of the biggest announcements at the very beginning, Josh Tomorrow, um, said that everything that was being announced at this panel, the Parks and Entertainment panel, is under development. Already. It's not Blue Sky anymore. It is not Blue Sky, which we got last D23. Which is why I think it's called Horizons. You know, this is now out of the Blue Sky yep. coming into on the, the horizon. horizon. on the horizon. I didn't even, like, make that connection yeah, it's until like you I said that. I write stories for a living. <laughs> um, so, before we jump into Walt Disney World's announcements, let's kind of set the scene here. Yes. Their noisy neighbors, Universal, is about to open a third gate called Epic Universe. And everything with like four mini gates in it. Everything that they've announced for this new park looks absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. You've got another Wizarding World. You've got Mario. You've got monsters. You've got How to Train Your Dragon. All of these really cool IPs that people have wanted to see. So Disney in this D twenty three had to come up with a response. Mm -hmm. And let's talk through how they did that with these four parks yes. starting in epcot because let's be honest when you are going up against a brand new theme park the last thing to excite anybody is going to be a reskin of a ride that has existed since the park has opened in spaceship earth which desperately needs to be refurbished and redone mm -hmm. now's not the time world showcase could definitely use a new country but again does that really excite you going up against epic universe no. I Apparently he now. is offended by all of this news. I'm also Sorry offended. About it. <laughs> I'm also offended by the Epcot shaft, but it's where we are. So, it, it's very disappointing that there wasn't much given for Epcot, especially because so much of it was taken away by the pandemic and so much of it that was just shelved. But what they maybe did, we'll do it. Maybe at another time. But what they did give us but what they did give us. There's an opening date for Test Track 3.0 yes. in 2025. Well, an opening, opening year. Did they see us say a season or just 2025? I think they just said 2025. Okay. Let me, I'll check my notes. <laughs> the, the, um, merry, the merry month of 2025. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> da, 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 da. They also announced this during uh, the Darren Chris like, montage thing. Yes. I didn't know who the other guy was. I just know um, I love Darren Chris very much. No, it just says 2025. Oh, okay. And the only other thing that they announced was not a Spaceship Earth re-theme, but a Spaceship Earth lounge, which is apparently, if you were to believe the rumors, going into the former sponsorship lounge that existed in a, above the post-show of Spaceship Earth. So, like, when AT&T sponsored it or Siemens sponsored it, it's where, like, you could bring those employees' families in to get away from everything cool. else so that's i bet the theming is gonna be really cool i'm not how do you theme it i don't know and but i like i feel I like know. you i feel like they could do something really oh cool i'd like to check that. it out when it opens um but i honestly didn't even take a look at the um at the concept art because the the um the live stream that we were watching lagged during this montage of music that was going kind of rapid fire through a few things and so we missed a lot of information it was really the only thing that was announced for Epcot yeah basically it? just just the lounge yeah. and test track yeah um which all right fine. fine that we'll go into animal kingdom animal kingdom animal kingdom is the one that we kind of knew was coming yes right so last d23 they gave us one of the blue sky things was um dino land usa 
reefy. Not even a reefy. It's like, gutting it. Demolishing and rebuilding. I mean, to be fair, to demolish, there needs to be things to demolish. That's true. <laughs> um, so let's get the one out of the way first. It's tough to be a bug is gone. Bye. Bye, um, bye, bye. Zootopia Better, Better Zugether, Zugether is going to be I, debuting again. I think that's in 2025. Yes. Um, yep, winter 2025. That actually gave you a... Oh, the a, merry a, month of winter. Season. That's exciting. Uh, and then, of course, there's the big dino land um, gutting <laughs> and rebuilding. Of Tropical Americas. Tropical Americas. What they gave Three us. attractions we're getting. It's... I forget the name of the area, but it's basically Tropical going America, to be... You just nailed it. No, I mean, like, they actually gave a name oh, of, like, Puebla the town. Oh, Puebla or something. Puebla or something. But basically, it's going to be, like, Harambe theming that yeah. they're going to have... I think they've already done all the traveling and everything like that and all the research travels. Um, so they're going to have people come in and, and really make it authentic, which yeah. is going to be really cool. That's one of the things that's amazing about Harambe when you walk around. It, you um, do feel like you're in an African village. You really village. do. Um, so three attractions were announced. Obviously, the one that we knew about was the Like for Like Indiana Jones is yes. going to take over Dinosaur. It is um, going to take place somewhere different, obviously. It's not going to be the exact same ride. And it's tying into the animals <laughs> because there's a Mayan temple that Indy has found with some creature... In it, so I haven't looked up like Mayan folklore of what that could be, but mm-hmm. I'm sure something that is tied into legend will be part of it. Uh, but the track is, I'm pretty sure, identical mm-hmm. to Forbidden Eye, yes. so it's the same ride with a different story, basically. Yes. So I feel like they're going to they're going to flip that one pretty quick, kind of like they did with I Tiana's, because yeah, it's basically you're gonna just retheming, take, taking out take all out the, the animatronics, take out the dinosaurs, and. Change the lighting. The, you got all the foliage in there anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, foliage. That's the March Simpson way to say it. Foliage. <laughs> um, well played. <laughs> so, and then you have this carousel. Yes, which, which is, looks really cute. It's going to be cute. It's got like all the Disney animals. So in the concept art, you could see Eeyore and some of the other critters from all over I know, I saw the Timon and Pumbaa. I think I saw Bambi. And I... I saw it was very hard because it was behind two other animals, but I'm almost certain that one of them is Pascal. And if there's Pascal and or Maximus, I'm sorry. I'm pushing kids out of the way. Sorry about it. Get out of my way, children. La- last ride um, <laughs> is Encanto themed. Encanto! Casita. Um, You're going to be able to go into Casita. The premise is it takes place on the day that Antonio got Antonio his, gift, his gift, which of course is, if you haven't seen the movie, it's talking to animals. So you're going to go through the house. It looks like a very classic dark ride it looks, with some maybe runaway railway projection technology. Oh, possibly. So. But yeah, it sounds like you're going to go through each of the different rooms and explore them, and then you're going to um, finish up in Antonio's room, which is basically like a giant rainforest. So theming goes in with the Tropical Americas there for sure. That I bet that theming is going to be amazing. Yeah, they're going to do a I'm good very job excited for this, this new re-theming. Because Dino Lane USA is sad. Sad. It's not cute anymore. It's, it's sad. sad. Um, I would say they didn't really give dates, but it did say it would be in phases. Yes, so it did you, say phases. You have time to still get your dinosaur fix in yes. uh, before that shuts down. I, um, I definitely think Indiana Jones is going to be the first. I think it's going to be the, the last. Thing. You think so? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I do. I think it's going to be the last thing it goes in. What makes you think that? Because they're going to want to see the stuff that's new done. Plus, think of that space that's there now. The Boneyard, that's easy to get rid of. Triceratops Spin is a glorified carnival variety. You can get rid of that quick. All of that stuff, you can break down quick and have an empty space and start the process there. I fully believe that you're going to see that happen first. Hmm. And then you'll see Indiana Jones last. Because I was thinking that it would be first because it would be so quick to turn that over. Yeah. That that'll be the first part of the phase. I'm wondering if it's that and maybe no. the carousel. Because I feel like well, they've said you can put a carousel in pretty quickly. Just how Josh phrased that dinosaur is going to be around for a little while longer tells me it's probably not going to be first. Could be. Um, but then again, they'll probably want people to ride dinosaur as much as possible. Because mm-hmm. that's about the only thing And get your get your dinosaur merch it. while you can. Yeah. Um, because that, that'll be obsolete. I guess we'll have to see. So, we'll have to wait and see. Um, that's really it for them. Um, I yeah. think that was pretty much it for Animal Kingdom. Yeah, nothing really, new to yeah. nothing new for Pandora on the east. Yeah. 
Um, the surprise of the night, Hollywood Studios. Yes. Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios. Is getting um, some stuff. <laughs> let, let's skip the low, let's start with the small stuff. Okay. Mando okay. and Grogu coming to Smuggler's Run. Cool. Very cool. Um, maybe it'll freshen up Smuggler's Run. I've written it one time. We single rider. No, we wrote it. Mm. No, no, no. We, I was the repairman. So were you. We yes. were on two different vehicles. Uh, because I was not waiting an hour and a half for yeah. a glorified video game. Um, it's more fun if you ride with people who yeah. have either ridden it and know what they're doing. Or people that you like. Or people that you with. actually know. Slash give a hard time to when they fail. Yes, exactly. Um, just going through the park, nothing new down Sunset Boulevard. Nothing new in Hollywood Boulevard. Nothing new for Pixar. Um, um yes, no, there is. Hold on, give me a minute. <laughs> nothing new with Pixar Toy Story Land. Okay. Um, or Galaxy's Edge. But they did announce that a new Monsters, Inc. land Land. will be coming to Hollywood Studios somewhere. Somewhere. They didn't actually say where, so there's a lot of speculation of, oh, are they taking something out? Are they changing something? Don't you dare touch Muppets. Um, Don't do it, Disney. I think there's a couple of spots that make sense. If mm-hmm. you are following Dapper Manatee on TikTok, check out his thoughts on it. Yes. I, I like his theory. Yes. Um, and I actually went in and looked at the map yep. on the on the Disney app. Yeah, but you know. And not there is former, that little space. You're not so. a former cast member and he is, so I mean that's true. Um and so but like I looked at there. that I looked at that space that he pointed out and it 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 could work. Good work it could there. work. It um, depends on how big they make it, I y- guess. You're going to get the first suspension <laughs> roller coaster. Yes. In a Disney which park. is so cool. You're going to actually be able to go into the laugh floor um you're going to be able to go through the doors and mike and sully are known for their crazy chaotic shenanigans so who knows what's going to happen and i'm excited for that as a big coaster person yeah and i love different coasters all kinds so suspension coaster did they give us anything else besides that that was really the big Um, thing i think that was really the big thing chicken out (laughs) Um, (laughs) but you wrote them I know I think that was really the only thing and then Magic Kingdom Magic Kingdom so what did they announce for Magic Kingdom what did they let's get this one out of the way first and foremost (laughs) a parade yes we are getting a nighttime parade we are finally getting a nighttime parade in over 2,000 days 2,863 days almost 3,000 days yes since Main Street Electrical left MK um, not counting Boo to You, yep. not counting Very Merry Christmas Parade yes. or anything like that. Yep. So it is a original concept. I yes. would have been cool if they brought Paint the Night, if they yep. brought back Main Street Electrical. I would have been fine with as, it. As, as a parent with a toddler who hates fireworks, give me a yes. nighttime parade, please. Having a nighttime parade is going to be really great for parents of little kids who don't like fireworks or parents of or really anyone who don't like fireworks at yeah. all, that that will be kind of their kiss goodnight. So what because... what have they announced for it? Well, they have a name. Mm-hmm. Disney Starlight. Mm-hmm. So I think Starlight, Star Bright. Yes, definitely. Um, you know, the focal point, the thing that kicks off the parade is the Blue is Fairy. the Blue Fairy from which... Pinocchio. I really hope that it's going to give us a classic Disney soundtrack, mm-hmm. kind of akin to Spectrum Magic. Maybe a little bit of a tease back to wishes would be cool. I was going to say, I feel like they're going to kind of almost not reuse the song wishes, but I I'm sure. I wouldn't be mad if they did. That'd be I that wouldn't way. be mad if I they did. I would not be mad if they did. Um, I bet you're going to hear a little bit of the music I and be like, wait a minute. Uh, so they've announced Encanto, Peter, Peter Pan, Pan Frozen, Frozen, and more. And more will be so. part of that parade. And we have an opening date, summer 2025. Woo! Um, so we know that very, that is very exciting. coming, and it's coming quickly. Yes. Um, we actually were talking about our next trip originally was going to be in March, and well, we might kind of been talking back. about. So now we're possibly maybe pushing it back to, to the fall to, to see, see if, we can, if we can if we can see it, which um, would be so cool. What else do they say for that? Um, let's see what else. Oh, they, oh. The thing that was met with the most eh response from mm-hmm. us and from most of the Disney community. What's beyond Big Thunder Mountain? Well, apparently it's cars. Cars. Yeah. 
So yeah. we are getting a, not Radiator Springs itself, not what's on the West Coast, but we are going to get a... Radiator Springs S a, new a place. A Frontierland in the Cars universe. Um, what was the video that was... Front tire land Front is tire land. what yeah, Mater said it. on there. And I, you know, mm-hmm. I think that's funny. I enjoy um, a play so on words. One of the rides does look like a carbon copy of Radiator Springs Racers, which in Or it's turn, going to be very similar. Which in I'm turn sure. makes it a carbon copy of Test Track, which leads me to my tin hat theory of oh boy. <laughs> what exactly is going to be World of Motion Test Track. Are they going to scrap a lot of what we knew about Test Track for this? Who knows? Wait and see, uh-huh. I guess. Um, and then there's going to be a much more what they call family-friendly attraction, but they didn't get into many details as to what that was. Yeah. Um, but it is going to be part of a Frontierland expansion, I, I guess. They didn't really say that yeah. this is what's beyond Big Thunder Mountain. You can assume We can that just it is. assume. Um, or it could be part of Tom Sawyer Island, and they're going to make a pathway, but what does that do for Rivers of America? They were kind of vague on the details of where some of this stuff is going, like mm. this and Monsters Inc. Land. We know they're going they to know the park, it's coming, but it's not. But we don't know exactly where. Which, which might lead to like, do we have to rip off some band aids? Like, is it Muppets going mm. or Star Tours getting moved? So <laughs> we'll see. Um, and then you know, Josh was all but done. You know, we did this funny bit with Deadpool, and it kind funny, of dragged on. Silly. On the presentation, it's coming up on one in the morning in the East Coast time. Yep. And Josh was like, that's it, we're done. And then, and then the all theme of a sudden, sh- Hellfire from no tr- Hunchback of Notre Dame plays, and, and the there's a little bit of fire. Up. And the magic mirror comes up, and everyone's like, oh, we know what's coming. So the, the news that we are all waiting for yes. has arrived. Disney is adding a villain's land to the Magic Woo! Kingdom with two what they're calling major attractions. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's going to translate to the old e-ticket attraction. I would assume one for sure. Probably. Uh, with additional shopping and dining, dining and, and characters, characters, I'm sure. I'm sure they'll have that. I'm, they were really kind of vague on the details. They were. Um, the concept art seems to show a favoritism towards Maleficent. Um, yes. Somebody pointed out Chernabog's Mountain was on there. Mm-hmm. I said it'd be yeah. cool if they did what the dragon does in the Wizarding World, where every 15 minutes or so... Chernabog's Mountain opens yeah. up and he's and like he's gazing there down on the land, which that would be cool. That would be very cool. Um, looks like there was a Maleficent roller coaster of Maybe. sorts with like the thorns. Yeah, there were a lot of thorns around. And I obviously have... it's artist rendering, concept yeah, art. So don't take that for what yeah. anything. But yeah. I mean, I think it would be cool if you had a ride that featured most of the villains. Yes. And it's almost a prequel to Fantasmic where mm-hmm. they find a way to invade someone's dreams and they mm-hmm. set their sights on mickey mouse yeah and it's the precursor to what you see in phantasmic i think that would be cool would be i think cool. I, I think i'm stretching a little i feel bit. like that's a bit of a reach but because it's hey, like how do you how do you like tell that without like I'm, outright i'm not it. an imagineer they are so that's I'll leave it up true to exactly that's um, why they're that's why they're the big guns. so that was the big news that was where the the show ended and we're kind of left with with questions when we're left with more questions for sure you know where are these things gonna go yeah. they haven't really said when villains land's gonna open they did say that quote earth is moving mm-hmm. um so you know it disney let's let's answer the question and i guess this kind of cycle isn't a grading mm-hmm. did disney do enough to compete with epic universe and the answer for me is no not quite because epic universe is opening much sooner than any of what they described last night Mm -hmm. many of the big stuff yeah so but also they've been working on epic universe for but for a while hear me out this is a pro disney channel disney i think is surrendering short term Mm -hmm. to win the long-term battle because yes i i the same thing Universal's not been shy on even to get into Epic Universe. You need to have a multi-day vacation with them. So Uh people like us, who we stay on Disney property and we take a day trip to Universal, we can't go to Epic Universe. So now our hand is forced. Uh And a lot of people's hands are now forced to abandon staying on Disney property, Uh going to a Universal hotel, and booking a vacation package to them. Disney says, okay, that's probably going to last, what, a year or two? That's fun. That's per- cute. Perfect timing for us to go, here's the Villains Land. Mm-hmm. Here's the Animal Kingdom refurb. Here's Monsters, Inc. Land. Come on back. Come on back. And I think that's their long-term play. That's 
And at that's that, a good thought. And at that point, then the Epcot love can come back where mm-hmm. it's the icing on the cake, right? Yep. You can't put the icing on without the cake. So the cake is, let's get the big guns out. Let's mm-hmm. get Villains Universe done. Let's get all these big things that we announced done. And then we can go in for the hardcores, like us, to say, you want Brazil in Epcot or Greece in Epcot? You got it. You want Spaceship Earth to be redesigned? You got We're it. We're on it. Because now we got all these other big projects done. Mm-hmm. So I think it's going to be a short-term pain for long-term gain for Disney in this yes. fact. Oh, that was the other thing that Magic Kingdom, hmm. that they announced for Magic Kingdom, kind oh, the of. the Pirate Bar. Was the Pirate yeah. Bar that we heard about last D23. Yeah, that's coming in 2025 um, too. Yes, the which we're pretty sure. So they closed the pirate shop that's connected to the, the exit. Moved everything across the walkway to Tortuga Tavern, which they've now called Tortuga Treasures. They have like the little, like cover up so sign. People think it's going to be in the the old Pirates League. That could be. So what? Well, I guess because we'll, I I again. know that they are refurbing the shop, which is why they moved everything over there. Disney's done a great job to say here's where so, all this stuff is. Now speculate on where it's going to go. It's like a yes. puzzle piece when all the pieces are white. Um, <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. So. <laughs> Until we hear more, I'm not going to speculate too much more, yeah. but let's... I mean, we can speculate all, all we want, but let's, again, let's like you some, said, Imagineer some, is going to Imagineer. Let's do some grades. <laughs> okay. Uh, overall, for the whole presentation, I'm going to give it a B-. minus. There was too much fluff. There was a lot of... It went there was three a lot hours. The songs, most of them were unnecessary. Shout yes. out to Pentatonix for their nighttime spectacular medley. That yes. was really good. I, I'm going to need a download of that, mm. like, That was now. really solid. Um, that was beautifully I did, done. I didn't need... The boys to men song. Um, I didn't need. It was funny. It was silly, but it was like, why? Um, also, shout out to Megan Trainer singing "Feed the Birds." Yes, that, that was, was beautiful. Um, but didn't need that. I didn't need the whole Deadpool shtick. Yeah. Um, I know Marvel is cashing in on that right now just yeah. because it's so popular. But, yeah. Uh, he's not. Coming I mean, they to the, they did say that music was going to lead everything, but I feel like it kind of care. got this out could, of hand. This could have been an hour and a half. If it was just yes. how they normally did it, hour and a half just, to two hours, you know, it I, was too much. I appreciate some of the flair, but it, it got to be a lot mm-hmm. um, by the time it was all said and done. Especially toward the end, because like when they did the the rapid fire song with Darren Chris and no, uh, I like, the other guy. I, I mean, I like that because I it like, was like that. It's, here's all the stuff that we talked about before, and we're gonna give you this quick update. Um, like we thought that was getting towards the end because they were like, okay, we gotta hurry for, this and then up. Then went for another hour. Yeah. And we're like, oh, okay, it's one o'clock so here. So, <laughs> miscellaneous stuff, um, international parks, the cruise lines. Um, they're they're adding four more ships. I'm gonna the give. The, I'm gonna grade that as a solid C plus. Yeah. I like what they announced. It yeah. seems cool. Am I ever gonna see it with my own eyes? Maybe. Maybe not. Um, West Coast. You guys are getting a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. Solid B plus. B plus. I think is fair. Um, Hi, come I, back to join us. I've never been to Avengers Campus in any of its iterations. We have not. <laughs> uh, the last time we were there was our honeymoon, and it was still it was still a Tower Bugs of Life Terror and the Bugs Life Land, which yeah. is right next to it. Um, and Tower of Terror was still Tower of Terror. So, I'm really excited to see what happens in Disneyland. I love the idea of the Coco Ride. I love the idea of getting Pandora, but a different Pandora for what's on the East Coast. And I love. And that Walt Disney is getting his own animatronic. I will be watching that on opening day yes. with issues in hand. Also, it is going in the Opera House where um, Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln is going. And they'll be on a And it will be on rotation. a rotation. Um, um, so they're not getting rid of that, which they shouldn't because that was uh, Walt Disney's creation. Epcot, going to the East Coast, Epcot gets a D. They didn't get a whole lot of love. Um, we kind of knew that they weren't, even though I was hoping that they would. We were hoping for a little more than but two things. Um, I'm still salty that all the stuff that was promised pre-pandemic never came to fruition. Yeah. Um, they scrapped, in my opinion, what was the better show in Harmonious for Luminous, which yeah. I think is just fine. And that's it's, as nice as I can it. say about it. It's, it's fine. fine. Um, Animal Kingdom, we knew it was coming. They gave us some more detail. And they gave us the, the Zootopia. I wish they would have been a little bit more up front with some timelines and some other details. I'm going to give it a solid B. Me? Um, Shock of the Nights Hollywood Studios with another land coming. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say 
B, B plus, plus a with, minus? The, with the potential to go to an A once they tell me where they're putting it. Because if it's at the expense of the Muppets, then it gets a C. It gets knocked. It gets knocked down. Um, uh, B or minus. Or B it, minus. Or if it's at the expense of Sunset Boulevard with the Tower of Terror and Rock and Roller Coaster. I, I don't think it's going to be there because those are basically like the main rides yeah. that are there. I don't no, think No, I think if anything's in danger in that park, it's Animation Courtyard, but they made a good point that Little Mermaid's getting revamped, so are you really going to put it there? And um, Or Muppet Courtyard and Star Tours. Mm-hmm. It could be in danger. But So, Magic Kingdom, you're, you're losing some points because I'm not sold on the frontier land. You know, having the Country Bears, Tiana, and Cars in the same space just seems too much of a hodgepodge for it, me. It, it's a little... It's, it's a, a little jumbled. It's a little too chaotic for my liking. So you got to kind of wrap it all up together. Unless you're going to get some kind of theming. Unless something. you're going to change the name of it. Um, I, it's true. You know, I think with the removal of uh, the shooting gallery for a DVC lounge, Frontierland's not going to look like Frontierland anymore, and yeah. I think it should just be called something different. Yeah, I don't um, know what that is though. No, I don't either. But aside from that, you know, the nighttime parade. Is which is something we've been waiting 2, for. Two thousand days overdue, um, and the villains' land. On initial concept, looks great. We'll see what Disney does with it. You know, I'd, I'd give it a, I'd give it a solid A. I, I'm, I'm on there. I would, say, I would say an A. It's not an A plus, but it's an A. You it's know, an I a. think they, they hit you with the thing that they wanted to hit you with. Mm-hmm. It's going to compete with Epic Universe, like I said. Short term pain for long term gain. They're going to let Universal have their win, and then they're going to yank it back. At least yep. they're going to try. Yeah. Um, things that we didn't get was any sort of resort talk. So nothing about the Poly Towers, nothing about more DVC stuff. Uh, as a DVC member, please stop with DVC. It's okay. But at the I, same I, time... I can't find a freaking room to save my soul yeah. right now. Um, so we don't need 20... Well, actually, we would probably need 20,000 more resorts, but no one's allowed to buy them. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Honestly, I feel like with the Poly opening, a lot of people are going to flock there, which will give a lot of the other DVC uh, resorts space. Honestly, the the more they do that, the more our home resort prices go down because we have Old QS. So it's like 10 points on a a weekend and off season to stay there. Cool. Sounds good to me. It's a place to sleep for me. I don't really care. Also, hopefully with everyone flocking to the new Poly Tower that maybe... Some Riviera stuff will open up a little yeah, bit because I've been there. dying to stay there, but stay it's Riviera. impossible to get a room there. Not a good one. I can get that too. I, I can get the tower studio with the Murphy bed, and that's really kind of it. Yeah, and even that's like twenty points a night. Yeah. Um, so overall, I think D twenty three Parks Panel did exactly what it came there to do. Mm-hmm. Um, the surprise of the night is MGM. I'm sorry, I still call it that. <laughs> Hollywood Studios getting the Monsters Inc. Land. Yeah. That was that the big came surprise. out of left field. I'm here for it. Suspended yes. coaster. I mean, think about it. And here's why I think the fifth gate's not necessary. When this is done, you have three roller coasters at Hollywood Studios, and I'm not counting Tower of Terror as one of them. So really, four thrill if rides. You that, yeah. Rise of the Resistance is there. Mickey Minnie's Runway Railway is there. You I'm have assuming, a lot of big stuff. I'm assuming there. the Muppets are still there. I'm assuming Indiana Jones is still there. That's a multi day park now. Mm hmm. Animal Kingdom. That's at at least a, a day and a half. Yeah. Animal Kingdom. You've got... You still have pa- all the stuff in Pandora. But you have a like-for-like like swap with dinosaurs, so you're not really getting anything new. But you are getting the new Encanto ride and a new carousel that's going to... A whole new area, really. It's really going to help divide the crowd a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Animal Kingdom is solidified as a full-day park. Mm-hmm. Definitely. What, what they're missing is a nighttime spectacular, and I think I have the fixed rivers of light, and it's called Drones. Yes. I'm surprised they didn't do. Didn't they didn't touch announce on anything with drones. Um, Epcot That's is what nice. it is. I think it's a full day. It's still a full day experience. Mm-hmm. You cannot get through Epcot. No, one day. no, especially. Um, you can't get through both. You can either get through World World Showcase so, Showcase, or you or can get you through, can get through the other half of the park, formerly known as Future World. Yes, you can't do both in you, one day. You can't. Um, so We've that, tried. <laughs> that's a multi day. That's a multi day park. Especially Magic if Kingdom. you want to drink around the world. Right. Like, no, you can't. And Magic Kingdom is a multi day park yes. today. Imagine what it will be when this villain's land oh, yeah. is done um, with this Cars Land thing in there. So, like, there's a reason that people go to Disney World and spend a week. Like, a week and half of it is at Magic Kingdom right. because so, there's so much. Excuse me. That's why I don't think you need a fifth gate. Not yet. 
because with all of this stuff built up, then I think you have a shot to do something really special. Yeah. Overall, D23 did exactly what it set out to do. Yes. It's got fans excited. It I think definitely we, was better than the last D23 I where mean, we got a lot the, of blue sky. The bar was low. That yeah. was one of the worst presentations I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I think Josh the, made I think it Josh very, it. very explicit at the very beginning when he said everything that we are announcing is in development as we speak. Yeah, this, there is no, there was no blue sky. Disney's at never all. gonna say we screwed up, and I'm sorry, but that's Disney's way of saying we screwed we up. We screwed I'm sorry. up. So let's they kinda... might sit here and say, "Let me say from the bottom of our hearts, my bad." Though they still have an apologize for Epcot, justice for Epcot. Just hashtag <laughs> expansion projects canceled or trimmed. That's what Epcot stands for now. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh. So those are our thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments. Yeah. We'll keep going. We'll react to stuff as it opens. Yeah. Um, we'll talk about some stuff. We always say that we're going to do more on here. and Just assume we're not. Just assume um, we're not. <laughs> I do we have to, a toddler. I do want to talk about our last trip, though, at some point. We really, really need fun. to. We, um, we should. We'll talk about some of the places we went and mm-hmm. our first experience of taking a small human yeah. to Disney. So maybe we'll do that next week. Yeah. And maybe, maybe we'll... Maybe we'll just do Sunday night with the Dizzards, where we just do like a, a half hour, 45 minute, idea. just once a week, Sunday night, you know, we're going to yeah. do something. Maybe we'll record it on Saturday. Oh, scandal. The magic <laughs> of the internet, folks. Well, on that, <laughs> Ta-ta for now. Good night.